Alright, so for those of you watching who have not been to middle school, it's a pretty questionable place to say the least. Now, the middle school that I went to wasn't too, too weird. It was pretty average in my opinion. It wasn't like those like those ghetto middle schools, but like, it was, it was kind of weird at some times. And so sometimes you'd have uh, stories like the ones that, I want, that I'm going to tell you right now happen to you during class. So basically, it was a pretty average day. Me and my friend get to school. I think it was a Monday or Tuesday. I'm not 100% sure. And we go upstairs, because that's where our class was, and we put our stuff in our lockers. And as we're walking to, to class, everything's normal. We get into class and we sit down. Now, our teacher was pretty chill. He's a history teacher, which, if you don't know, most most history teachers are very chill. Not only because they're coaches and they really don't care about the class, but also they're just overall nice. Anyway, so this was a really easy class. Literally, I would say, I would say probably 80% of the class had a 95 or above. There's only like those, only the people, if you didn't turn in your assignment, then you're not going to get a hundred on it. It's basically, if it's completed, you get a check. You just, you get a hundred on it. Anyway, so, this one day, it's, it was pretty normal. We get into class, we sit down, and there's an assignment on the board. It was some, I think it was some like vocab assignment we had to do from the textbook. It was pretty easy. So, me and my friend were working on this assignment, and while we were doing this, he was taking attendance, so... Pretty normal day so far, and everyone is here except one person, and we'll call her uh, a Abby. Abby. All right. So Abby, while he was taking attendance, and while he called Abby's name, she just so happened to walk by the door, which was open, and she started going down the stairs. So apparently she was like trying to skip or something. So my teacher saw this and he started going after her. So apparently I learned this afterwards after like talking to her and stuff. So apparently she was planning to go downstairs and to go out the back door of the school and try to get that cut, which I don't even know because there's someone there at all times. I don't know what she was trying to do, but anyway, she got caught doing it. And he dragged her back to class. So, when they got back to class, my teacher was pretty chill about it. Like, more chill than I would have been if something like this happened. Because you're a teacher, you're not supposed to let that happen. Anyway, so, he was all like, yeah, just don't do that again. As long as you finish your assignment, I'll look past it. But if you do it again, I'll have to, like, call your parents or whatever. And he's just like, yeah, you just get started on your assignment. And so he finished taking attendance. Then he's just walking around like a regular teacher, checking up on everyone. And he sees that Abby isn't doing her assignment. And now he's triggered because he gave Abby a, another chance to make this right. But Abby still didn't want to just do the assignment. It was pretty easy. All the answers were literally in the textbook as well. So I don't know why she didn't just do it, I don't know, maybe she was just tired of that day or whatever, but anyway, now he was triggered. He was like, come up here, I need to call your parents. Now, when teachers say that they're going to call your parents, from what I've experienced, there's three types. Number one, the type one is the threats in the threats in or whatever. So basically what they all say is they'll say they'll call your mom and dad, and then they'll never do it, they're just too lazy. Type 2 is going to be the teachers that say they'll call your mom and dad, and then they'll set up some sort of conference after class, after hours, on their own time, and then every now and then they'll just send a note home or something saying, yeah, well, you might want to go over this with your child. That's, the, that's what most average teachers would do. Then you have the hardcore teachers. They will make you call your mom and dad in the middle of a class on speaker phone, not even in private, so the whole class can hear what you're saying. Now, usually my teacher is definitely a type one 
person. He will say, he'll say, I'll call your mom and dad. He won't do anything. But this today, he was triggered by her trying to skip class. I think he was triggered because he even gave her a second chance to just do the assignment. And she still didn't. So now he said, I want you to call your mom and dad in front of the whole class on speakerphone. So she called up her dad, and surprise, surprise, he didn't pick up. So he's like, all right, all right, call up your mom. And her mom did pick up. And first thing I hear is her screaming like, what happened, what happened, why aren't you in school? And so basically she explained everything to her mom. And then now Abby's mom was screaming at the top of her lungs to the entire class at her daughter. Now, they're not some uh, family-friendly words, so I'm not really gonna say what all she said, but she said all this in the middle of class, and the teacher was just in the corner smiling, and I don't want to admit it, but I can say that at least half the class was laying down laughing. Anyway, so then her mom came up, and she's like, all right, I'm gonna show up to the school. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Now, sometimes, now, although this is a rare occurrence of being called on speakerphone in the middle of class, sometimes, I've had this happen to me actually one other time, where mom or dad will say, yeah, I'm coming up, but they didn't actually show up. From what I know that they, are, they don't actually show up, they're just saying that to make sure the kids don't do anything while they haven't talked to them yet. And so, I was like, yeah, she's probably bluffing or whatever. She's not actually going to come up here. And the next thing I know, like 10, 15 minutes later, whenever I hear footsteps walking down the hall, and then I hear the door open, and I see Abby's mom just standing there, furious with rage. She almost drags her daughter out of the class, steps outside, closes the door, and I could still hear her scream at the top of her lungs at her. Now, after that, I think she took Abby home early. I really don't know what she did to her. I don't want to know what she did to her when they got home, if she was willing to do that in public, in front of the whole class. 